this is my morning routine. And I do this because in Mark 135, it says that Jesus waking up very early in the morning, he went to a quiet place and there he prayed. And Jesus lived in such a way that we're called to live as he did. And so Jesus, he set aside a time in the morning to spend time with the Father, to go private before he went public. And that is so powerful because the moment I step outside of my bedroom door, I'm going to be attacked with lies upon lies upon lies from the enemy because we live in a world that is ruled by the father of lies. So it is crucial and it is essential that I get my armor of God on and I fill my heart with his truth and that I know what he says about me and I know what he says about his people. And so that's what this is. This is my morning routine of going private before I go public. I start right there when I wake up and the moment that my eyes open I start singing I start singing because I can't help it I can't help it my God is so good in the morning he brings me word of his unfailing love and I get so excited because just as the Sun rises I get to rise and be in his presence and I get to praise him okay so now I just finished singing to my sweet Jesus and then I put my feet over the bed and start dangling them because they don't reach <laughs> and and also because I don't want to take a single step until I give my every step to the Lord. And I start praying over, over my day. And one verse that I pray over every single morning is right here. And it's in Psalm 143 verses 8 through 10. It says, Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, God, for I put my trust in you. And show me the way that I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord, for I hide myself in you. You're my secret place. <laughs> Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. And then I go over here to Isaiah 6, 8. It says, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall we send? Who shall go for us? And intentionally I say, God, here I am. Send me. I want, I want God to become greater and I want, I want Him to become all the more powerful. I want Him to get the fame. I want Him to get the likes. I want Him to get the lights. I want Him to get all of the glory knowing that I am His vessel. I am His ambassador and I'm excited to be His today. Okay, so I go to turn on my lamp. And the moment that I turn on my lamp, I'm just reminded of how good God is. Because on my lamp, I have Psalm 119, 105 that says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Meaning I can trust and rely on the beautiful promise that He is going to lead me where I'm supposed to go. So this is my prayer place. And if you see all the verses, these are all talking about prayer. Because this is where I come and intentionally talk to God. My whole life is a prayer because God says to pray without ceasing. But this is where I come in the morning to have talk time. And keep in mind too, my phone isn't here. I don't have my phone out, don't have social media out. It's just me and God. No distractions. It's just us. Just us. So then I get to go into God's Word. And what's so cool is sometimes whenever you look at God's Word, it can be kind of intimidating. It's really big. <laughs> it's like 66 books and like 2,000 chapters. Like, it's a lot. And so something that I do is just one verse. Just one verse. If you are just now starting to read God's Word, I encourage you to pick one verse and meditate on it for one week. Just one verse for one week. And it doesn't have to be long. Like, it could be Psalm 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It's just nine words. I wake up in the morning, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I go downstairs, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I walk in down the hallway of school, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And guess what? Whenever that trial does come, or whenever that temptation does come, because you went private before you went public, no matter when or where you are, uh-uh, Satan. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You see, what's so powerful about that is I was preparing for a battle before a battle even ever came. I was getting equipped and ready and filling myself up because I knew that whenever that battle did come, I want to be ready. 
I wanted to be ready. I want to be ready when someone comes to me and says, Hey, Emma, how do you do this? Hey, Emma, I'm going through this. What do you, what do you suggest? And I don't want to give them my opinions. I want to give them truth. I want to give them life. And how do I do that? I go private before I go public. So I spend time in God's word. It's really good. And it fills my soul. And so when my soul is filled, I can't sit still. Because I can't contain the beauty that God just did in my heart, you have to you have to express it. Talking about no burn up. And I just love how he loves to join with me. And sometimes when we waltz, I just I just take his hand because his his hand is righteous and his hand is my stronghold and his hand lifts me high and his, his hand upholds me and I'm reminded okay God you're my escort into this day what I just shared with you is my morning routine and what I love about it is it's it's very immunized <laughs> it's unique to who I am and what my relationship with God looks like you don't have to do every little detail. A dance party is just one of the ways that I love being with the Lord. And dangling my feet over my bed is just one of the ways that I, I love honoring the Lord. But some things that you do need to make sure that you do is that you do pray. And you do spend time worshiping Him. And you do spend time in His Word. Whatever that looks like for you is beautiful. God doesn't want you to try to be someone that you're not because he made you you for a reason. And he set you apart for you to be you, not to be someone else. So don't go and try to be Emma because you're not Emma. And I love that about you. And there's only one you and it's incredible. So make your morning routine so real and so genuine. God doesn't, he doesn't call us to be fake. <laughs> That's so hard and boring. He wants you to be real. So whatever your morning routine looks like, let it be you, but let it be filled with prayer. Let it be filled with time in his word and let it be filled with worship because man, it sets the tone for your entire day.